Okay guys, so there is a huge rumor out there right now that says that Sony is considering selling Spider-Man back to Marvel. Now, some of you might be confused because Spider-Man is already in Marvel. Essentially, that deal, just to quickly break it down for you, is no one is making money on the Disney side from Spider-Man and the Sony side, they're not making money from anything else that's not Spider-Man. So the Avengers, they don't get a cut of it. Right now, it's just a shared deal to better both franchises. So it's like a 50-50, but no one gets anything. <laughs> it's just a handshake that they have with some contracts in there. Now, apparently what this deal would be is Spider-Man, the film rights, the characters, the villains associated with him, and everything else would be going over back to Disney full control. That means Sony wouldn't be able to call any of the shots and would all be up to Marvel. So then if they wanted to do any crossover or anything or use Spider-Man villains anywhere else, they would be able to. Now of course they can still do that right now as long as they work it out. It would just make it easier because they wouldn't have to go through Sony to try to discuss anything. Now this wouldn't be the first time or the last time you're going to hear about this. About a couple of weeks ago, I did a report talking specifically about how Sony is in trouble and that they might be getting bought out by CBS. Now all of these things are kind of spiraling downwards and we're hearing the same thing from multiple people is that in fact Sony might just be selling off Spider-Man and you can be damn sure that if they're going to go somewhere that Disney's probably going to put in a giant bid to Sony to just at least reclaim him back because they don't want to see Spider-Man go somewhere to CBS and then they have to drop new contracts once the current ones are out. Now, of course, them already having a great friendship with Sony would probably see this as something that would come true if Sony was to sell off to any other company because they got a working relationship and why not keep those? And you would assume some of the people that are higher up there might even go, well, We'll sell them back, but guarantee us a job over there for a decade or so, right? So honestly, I could see this as being true, but it's probably not going to materialize anytime soon. 